Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the front brakes on a 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe. Fairly simple. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to disconnect this bolt right here and then we're going to take the caliper and we're going to flip it up because the customer in this case does not want the rotors resurfaced so we're just going to do what's called a pad slap. We're going to put new pads on it. So uh, we're going to take out this bolt, flip the caliper up and then we're going to push the pistons back in. Normally what I do with these is I get in here with a screwdriver and I put a screwdriver in here and then I just pry it this direction here to recess that the piston back into its bore. In this particular case there's no room for a screwdriver to go so we have to use the tool to, re to reposition the, uh, the pistons back where they belong. So uh, let me get started and I'll, uh, I'll show you what to do step by step. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, disconnect this uh, this bolt right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it out all the way, and then we just take the caliper and turn the caliper up. Get a little better perspective on it. And we're going to need to push these two pistons here back in, and the way we're going to do that. We have a tool like this that we push these caliper uh, pistons back into where they belong. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the new brake pads. We're going to lay it in here. And then we're going to lay the other one in over here. Then we take these and we slide it right in between. And you tighten it up. And what that does is it slowly pushes the pistons back into the bore. Let me just turn it nice and easy. And then slowly you can see the piston starting to push back in. And you do that until the pistons are recessed all the way back into the bore. It just takes a minute or so and it pushes in fairly easy. While we're pushing that back in, you want to make sure that your, uh, that your slide pins on the caliper right here, make sure that they slide nice and freely because if not then your brakes are going to stay applied and you're going to have a problem. So, And in this case here, both of them slide fairly easy. And then we'll finish pushing that piston back in. You can do it with the, um, I like this tool here, it seems to work the best for me. Some guys use a, a C-clamp, um, I don't really care for it, but this works the best because you can push two pistons back in at the same time. All right, and once you turn them in all the way, you can tell when you're in all the way because obviously it'll stop moving. Then you loosen it up and you uh, remove the tool and then you uh, take your brake pads out and then we're going to remove the, uh, the brake pads from the uh, off the rotor and they usually come out pretty easy but you can always just get a little pry with a screwdriver and it comes right out same thing on this side here sticks, hit it it comes right out now, I want to mention to you this piece here is a disc indicator. When this piece when, <coughs> when this piece comes down to where it's even with the brake pad, that's when you get that squealing noise. So uh, <coughs> all right, so that's the indicator. When that comes in contact with the rotor, that's what gives you the squealing noise. Now we have to put the brake pads back in in the same position that you took them out. So we know that the outer pad did not have any sensor on it, so we can grab the outer pad. All right. The, the, the inner brake the inner brake pad has the indicator. <coughs> The inner brake pad has the indicator 
and, and you want to make sure you get the brake pad that has the indicator in the right position. As you can see, this one is the, uh, the mirror image of it. It actually belongs on the other side. So let's grab the right one and I'll show you how that works. Okay, see? Both of them have the sensor on top. So um, we're going to, uh, in this particular case, we're also going to change. <coughs> we're going to change the hardware too. When you buy a, a premium brake pad, they usually come with the new, uh, the new um, mount the caliper hardware. <coughs> You want to try to use it whenever you can because this gets a little bit of rust inside here and the brake pad is not going to slide as it's supposed to. So uh, you just took it off like this. You lift it up and out. Obviously you put the new one back in the same way you just took out the other one. and you'll push it in until it is seated back where it belongs. Do the same thing on top. You just pry it down a little bit. Comes right out. You get your replacement and you put it back in the same way you took it out. Right? This is facing up, so we know that this has to face up as well. Taking you push it up inside here. You'll feel it lock in where it's close to. Because they have these little these little tabs on the inside here. When you push it up, you'll feel it lock right up inside there. So again, it goes like this. You push it up in place, and then you push these this part here up, and you'll feel it lock in. Alright, so now we have the tabs in there. As we know, whenever you uh, replace brake pads, uh, most of the time. They give you a, uh, a little a little lube to put on here to make everything slide. Obviously, uh, you put it on the contact points that fit into that. All right, and you put this in here. The easiest way I find to do it is instead of pushing it in perfectly flat, just put it in a little bit of an angle, and it just pushes right in there, and you'll slide right in. Same thing on the back on the back brake pad too. We're going to put some grease on the uh, back brake pad, a little bit right here, and right there. And then we take the brake pad, and you put it back in the way you took it out. Obviously, you know, make sure you watch how you take it out, because it's only going one way. You don't want to try to put it in this way here, because it's just not going to happen. Okay? Put it back in the way you took it out, remember the slight angle. And when you have that slight angle on it, you push it in and you'll feel it lock right into where it belongs. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these slide pins and we're going to pull them out. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to lube them up a little bit too so that they slide the way they're supposed to without binding. Because if they bind, you're going to prematurely wear out the brakes. Alright, so that's nice. And on the upper one, we didn't take that bolt out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tear in the caliper and just turn it and have slight pressure pulling it out at the same time and then you put some grease on this pin here then you put the caliper pin back in up on the top slide your caliper down nice and gently you push in on this bottom slider you take your 14 millimeter bolt you screw it back in You grab your 14 millimeter socket and you tighten it up. It doesn't have to go real tight, just snug. Now, if you're trying to turn this and the whole thing is turning and it does not get tight, then you need to get a wrench and you put a wrench on here and you hold it so that it doesn't rotate. You just put a, a socket, whichever size it is. I'm sorry, you put a wrench and you hold it like this and then you put your socket back on and you can tighten it up all the way. It doesn't happen all the time but sometimes it does where you'll be trying to tighten this up 
and it just keeps on spinning. So you just hold it with a wrench and you tighten the bolt up. All right, so we have the top is greased, the bottom is greased, the bolt is tight. This one we never loosened up, so that's tight. The shims are in place. The, uh, the, uh, the hardware kit for the caliper, I mean for the uh, brake pads are in place. And uh, that's it. Caliper slides nice and freely, as it's supposed to. And that's it. We're all done. Now we're going to go around the other side, and we're going to uh, do the exact same thing on the other side. And uh, that's it. We're all set. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Good luck, and if you need any uh, any assistance, uh, drop me a line. I'd be more than help you, more than happy to help you out. See you in the next one.